Friends, I've been reading Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and wept. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Like those spoken of in this psalm, we find ourselves in a strange and unfamiliar place. We may feel exiled from those things that have always given us comfort and continuity, routines, rituals, places and people. We may feel separated from those we love or enclosed too much with those we find difficult. To call this time strange is an understatement. It's the time of year when spring weather calls us outside with familiar signs of new life as we approach Easter. And even in this strangeness, we may have reasons to give thanks. For time with loved ones, opportunity to refocus our priorities, for the drop in pollution levels. But nevertheless, we're in a place we didn't choose and we don't necessarily want to be. But God calls us to keep singing our songs. For some, that will be of lament, for others, of celebration. More than 2,000 years ago, the prophet Jeremiah told the people of Judah, who were in exile far from their familiar lives, to seek the welfare of the place where I have sent you, and to pray for the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare, you will find your welfare. And that can be a tough ask, but it demands looking beyond ourselves and requires self-discipline and imagination, ingenuity and generosity of spirit. So as we are required to isolate ourselves physically from one another, we're also called to draw near in every other way we possibly can, demonstrating the spirit of thanksgiving and prayer, especially for those who are maintaining and building essential services in our NHS, but also those we usually take for granted in easier times. Those who empty our bins and provide our water and clean our sewage and keep our roads functioning. For those involved in emergency services and childcare and teaching, broadcasting and manufacturing and logistics. And for our leaders, national and international, each one of us and them in a strange and uncharted place. I'm really thankful for the ways you are already finding of seeking the welfare of our city and county safely and responsibly. We're not only looking to our own individual welfare, though we do need to remember to take care of ourselves, but to the welfare of this strange place where we're all currently in exile one way or another. The birds of the air are still building nests, the spring flowers are still coming into bloom. The kingdom of God will still grow, even in this time of exile in a strange land. Today, March the 25th, is the Feast of the Annunciation. In other words, it's nine months until Christmas. And we remember that God is at work silently, in the darkness of the womb, in the silent places beneath the earth, forming and shaping God's eternal purpose. So I end with a prayer set for today and invite you to pray it with me. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth, to you be praise and glory forever. As your living word, eternal in heaven, assume the frailty of our mortal flesh. May the light of your love be born in us and fill our hearts to sing with joy. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen.